So my greetings from Jerusalem Jane. Earlier today, I uploaded to all my social media a current news update speaking about the horrendous terror attack that happened this morning at the Allenby Bridge crossing, one of the five crossings between Jordan and Israel. A Jordanian truck driver decided, today I'm gonna to be a terror terrorist Today I'm gonna to drive into Israel, I'm gonna get out of my truck. He smuggled in a handgun and he plainly walked up and he executed, he brutally murdered three Israeli workers working at that terminal. Another horrific terror attack here in Israel. So three families were notified that your beloved, your husband, your grandfather, your father, was murdered in another heinous terror attack this morning. All three of them were men, gentlemen between the age of 50. Uh, we uh, only just now did I get the name and identification of one of the victims. I will share that with you later. So if you didn't see that video update, go find it on all my social media where I'm speaking about that horrendous terror attack and also on the numbers came out of the number of people who have been evacuated, the people who have been attacked uh, in rocket attacks, the number of rocket attacks, the people who have been injured since October 7. The numbers are horrifying. The numbers are literally horrifying. So go find that video. Today I wanna give you uh, in this video, I want to give you an update about what's going on in Judea and Samaria, the liberated heart bed, the liberated heart of Israel, the liberated Judea and Samaria. It's the biblical heartland. It's not the occupied West Bank. Israel liberated Judea and Samaria, and they took back land that rightfully belonged to them. Since October 7, we have had 4,973 terror attacks in Judea and Samaria. 38 Israelis were brutally murdered in terror attacks in Judea and Samaria. 12 of them were Israeli soldiers, and then three of them were Israeli police officers. And that was in a heinous terror attack that took place last week, where terrorists drove up to an Israeli minibus, uh, Israeli police officers were in a minibus and three Israeli police officers were brutally murdered in that terror attack. And like I have said before, one of those police officers that was brutally murdered last week was the father of an Israeli female police officers who was brutally murdered by Hamas terrorists when they breezed into Israel October 7 and they attacked the police station in Sidrot and these female officers were defending that police officers until she ran out of bullet and she was executed by Hamas terrorists, plainly murdered and now her father was murdered in a terror attack in Samaria. 285 Israelis were injured in those 4,973 terror attacks. We are talking about mothers who is out driving in Samaria with their kids on the car and they are being attacked with rockets, with, um, with rocks. Um, their cars, their buses are being pedals. It happens every week, numerous times every week. You just don't hear about it in your mainstream media. Um, 4,400 Palestinian Arabs was arrested in Judea and Samaria since October 7. 1,850 of those were affiliated with Hamas, Hamas terrorist. terrorist. That is a 114% increase in the number of Palestinian Arab prisoners um, since July 20. 22. I want to say, um, for those of you who have been following me for a long, long time here in Israel, you know that I have been reported about this 
year after year after year after year, um, especially in the northern part of Samaria, around Naples, around Janine. These are terrorist hot spots. They are packed with terrorists and they are armed to the teeth and they are driving around in Samaria, shooting at Israeli vehicles. So many Israelis has been murdered in drive-by shooting out in Samaria, Judea and Samaria, by terrorists who is armed to the teeth by weapons that has been smuggled in from Jordan. And I don't even have the number of families who have lost the last one because they were brutally murdered in Judea and Samaria. So that has been declared a hotbed, high alert in Judea and Samaria. And that's why when you hear about the Israeli military going into Jenin, to the areas around Jenin and doing what they're doing, arresting all of these terrorists, taking out terrorists, because when the Israeli military are coming in, they are being attacked full force, like a small army, because that's how much weapons they have, these terrorists out in Judea and Samaria. So the Israeli military has the best intelligence in the world and they are picking up of imminent threats, imminent threats, terror attacks, uh, being plotted towards Israelis, towards the Israeli uh, communities. And that's why sometimes when I'm reporting about the Israeli military struck vehicle uh, in Judea and Samaria, this is because these are terrorists armed to the teeth in their car on the way to carry out terrorist attack. But you barely hear that in mainstream media. You are only hearing about the Israeli military going up and taking out roads uh, in uh, Jenin. Well, they're doing that because these terrorists are planting bombs under the roads. And we have had numerous casualties of Israeli soldiers being literally blown to pieces because the Israeli military are driving in the roads in Jenin and then these filthy terrorists have planted bombs and they're exploding. So that is why the Israeli bulldozers are going in and raiding the roads, taking out the asphalt, because they are plastered with bombs. Again, something you don't hear in mainstream media. So this morning in the Jordan Valley at the Allenby crossing, which is five kilometers away from uh, Jericho, three Israeli workers were brutally murdered by a terrorist. And only now, can I share this with you? This is one of the victims. He was brutally murdered this morning when a Jordanian truck driver got out with a handgun and brutally murdered three Israeli workers. And this is one of them. This is just absolutely heartbreaking. Um, his name is Jonathan. Jonathan Shohore, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. He was 60 years old from Male Ephraim out in. So I'm sending my deepest condolences to his families. Uh, if he has wife, children, brutally murdered this morning. So again, I want to encourage you to go, I'm sorry, and look at the video. Sorry, <laughs> I had to cough. Please go and look at the video update that I released earlier today. Uh, and now you can hear police cars are coming by my street in Jerusalem. Things are on high, high alerts here in the Holy Land. Things are escalating in the North. Hezbollah is attacking us every day and the Israeli military is ready for a big, big operation to go in and push Hezbollah back further up in the North in Lebanon so they don't continue to attack us every day. And according to Israeli official, uh, that is imminent for a massive operation in Lebanon. For such a time as this, we stand with Israel. Bye.